is Almin Blanc. I'm an electrophysiologist. I've been in practice for almost 30 years, mostly electrophysiology. We have become much more aware of the importance of sleep apnea as a trigger for a variety of cardiovascular conditions. Um, in my practice, of course, atrial fibrillation, but not just atrial fibrillation. I mean, there are studies showing that patients with sleep apnea can have more ventricular arrhythmias as well. So we need to be aware of that in our field to be able to manage these patients. Patients that have ablations for atrial fibrillation, one of the predictors of recurrent AFib is untreated sleep apnea as well. Patients with sleep apnea that are monitored may have episodes of bradycardia, or significant bradycardia, and even a systole if they have severe sleep apnea. We recently had a patient, a young uh, patient in his 40s, who was, uh, we got a consult to put a pacemaker. And he had significant bradycardia, but only during the night. Sometimes when they are hospitalized for other reasons, the bradycardia and asystole may become apparent to their treating doctors. And many times the first reaction, the first response is to put a pacemaker. And this patient um, had never been tested for sleep apnea. He was in the hospital for, I believe, for asthma. When I talked to the patient, the patient had all the features of sleep apnea. He had increased somnolence during the day, tremendous uh, snoring, um, and he had anatomic features consistent of sleep apnea. He had a very short neck, he was very overweight. Itamar Medical was able to accommodate a request to do an inpatient watch pad the same day that I saw the patient in consult, which actually happened to be a Saturday, and we had the results from the watch pad the next day, on Sunday, and the patient had really profound, tremendous sleep apnea, almost off the charts. So we were able to avoid a pacemaker and alleviate the anxiety of all the doctors involved in that case. And in this way, by doing the inpatient watch pad, we have a diagnosis and we can establish their treatment immediately. I think that if it wasn't for the watch pad, that particular patient might have either A, gotten a pacemaker, B, perhaps he would have been diagnosed with sleep apnea, who knows, days or weeks later, or C, he might have been lost to follow up and never have a diagnosis of sleep apnea.